Hey, what's up guys, Boba Royal here, and today I wanted to take a deep dive into the new snowballs and fireworks that arrived as consumables with update 10.1. A few main thoughts have been bouncing around in my head with these, so I figured I'd bring them up here on the channel. Number one is how permanent are these additions, and number two is how can we consider ways to make them more baked into the game moving forward. So let's jump right into this discussion on Vigor's festive consumables. <laughs> So with anything the devs add to the game, I think we should always do our best as a community to make sure it stays there. So how can we keep these two extremely festive items in without making them feel out of place after the holiday season comes to a close? Well, let's start with the snowball. The snowball is pretty cool in concept, and has been an idea that's been floating around the community for a while now. With it being fully designed and programmed, I see no reason for it to just go away when spring hits. So how can we keep this trickshot machine in the game? Well, first, we could have it be an extremely rare roll in Illumination that remains all year. Making it the rarest loadout would make it feel unique and exciting if it comes into rotate, but keeping it will not waste any of the coding and will also add a touch of fun to Elim matches whenever they pop up. However, this isn't a great solution considering it doesn't fully integrate them into the game. So how could we edit the stats of the snowball so that it works and is balanced in encounters? Well, we could make the snowball only obtainable through elimination crates or elim based challenges, something I would also like to see in the future. Of course, we would also have to change its stats in that, after all, it would be very immersion breaking to instantly die from a snowball in an encounter when it takes 4, 5, 5, 6 bullets to the upper chest to kill. Depending on how much work it would be, I think it would be really cool, pun intended, to also give it the frost effect that you get when you sit in cold waters on snow maps, maybe for 5 to 10 seconds duration if you hit somebody with it. But if that requires too much work to code, instead we could just make it a simple damage value reduction. I'd say damage wise it could be somewhere on the range of the MGV or the Thompson. So it'd mainly be a joke item which could rarely be used, but let's be real that's what the snowball should be. And if the devs are willing to spare development time, which I really don't think they should on snowballs then, then we can also add snowballs as lootables on the snow maps, giving them another fun way of making the map feel more natural and interactive. But once again, this is a very irrelevant suggestion, I just think it'd be cool if they went through with it. The next consumable is those fireworks, which conveniently are already available to use in encounters, which is great though they have no real purpose, other than they stand as a great way for Outlanders to celebrate in-game. But when we ask how could we keep them relevant and non-intrusive for the rest of the year, we have to consider adjusting their scarcity and how players could get them following the end of the holidays. Because, let's be real, if it's the middle of March and there's still 10 fireworks going off per game, it's gonna get a little annoying and break the immersion of the game. So, my suggestion would be for it to be a reward after completing a major in-game achievement. So say completing the Rubik's Cube would give you one, completing gold shooting range challenges, or maybe even getting it as a more tangible reward for getting each level of kill or airdrop count badges. Regardless, we should have them still available to loot even after the end of the holidays, although they would need to be significantly more rare so they still have meaning as a representation of in-game accomplishments. But if they aren't available to loot after the holidays, oh well. At the bare minimum, they shouldn't be removed from the game so those of us with stockpiles can continue to have fun as we please. Really, the bottom line is we should never remove content from the game and should only add it. And these are some of the ways that we can keep these festive additions in all year long to help improve and add to the game. But those are just my opinions and if you disagree, please state why in the comments. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Boa Rail from the Christopher Beats channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.